Hi everyone, it's uh, Bernardo Moya here, the founder of The Best You. And uh, today we're going to have another chat, talking to all these amazing, inspiring speakers that we've got um, in this uh, festival of learning that we're running at The Best You Expo on the 24th and 25th of March. And, uh, and as I said, I'm delighted today to have uh, uh, just a brief conversation. So I'm doing an introduction to our Best You community and those that follow us and uh, of who Dr. Mike is. Well, you know, he's a best-selling author. He's the author of many books, uh, The um, Brain Fog Fix, uh, he, Healing the Broken Brain, and The Diet Rehab. Um, his books have been published in many languages, and he also is, uh, you know, heard weekly on Hay House Radio. So I had the pleasure of uh, meeting and interviewing uh, Dr. Mike quite a few years ago, and, um, and that was in London for The Best You Magazine. And for those of you that are watching me, well, who's this guy? Who's this English guy? Well, I'm Bernard and William, the founder of The Best You. And uh, I've been running these events. I've been promoting events in 10 years in London. Uh, mainly started with Dr. Richard Banner and Paul McKenna. So I've been their promoter for the last 10 years. But for the last five, I've been running these uh, fairly large events called The Best You and The Best You Expos. And we've just completed our third one in London last week. It seems like months ago. It was the uh, 16th and 17th of February. We had 180 speakers we had a couple of 150 exhibitors and 12 and a half thousand people show up so it was pretty pretty amazing so we're delighted and very very excited to be speaking uh, here in having our first event in long beach in california and uh, dr mike Dow is going to be speaking there. hi mike how are you nice to see you nice I'm to see you so glad you're going to be coming to uh my part of the world the first time i met you was in london and now uh here in the los angeles area so i'm so glad Absolutely. Yes. Listen, I love London. Don't get me wrong, but I, I, I love LA. Mind you, it's raining today. What's this all about? <laughs> I know it is raining here in LA today, but uh, I, I know uh, hopefully in a few weeks when we're in Long Beach, California, it's going to be nice and sunny. I'm, I'm sure of it. So I'm, I'm sure it will be. The, the weather is amazing. So listen, tell us a little bit about yourself, your amazing journey, and, and then we'll start talking about kind of your books and stuff like that. So tell us about how you got into what you're doing today. Yeah, so you know, my, my journey started when I was uh, just 15 years old because that's when my little brother had a massive stroke when he was just 10 years old. And you know, his miraculous journey, his recovery, uh, doctors told us we should put him in a nursing home for the rest of his life, that he would never, uh, because of the size of his stroke, uh, it was literally a massive stroke, um, that he would never be able to live an independent life. Well, my brother does live an independent life. He's a happy, successful life. Uh, last year, we wrote a book together uh, called Healing the Broken Brain. And I saw firsthand the, the way the brain can heal itself when given the right tools. Um, so, you know, you know, that, that inspired me uh, to become uh, a psychotherapist, a brain health expert. And, you know, I focused on the integrative holistic approaches to brain health. Um, so, of course, Healing the Broken Brain, that is a really specialty book. It focuses on stroke recovery. Uh, but my other books are, are for a wider audience. So, of course, uh, The Brain Fog Fix was the New York Times bestseller. Uh, it was about, you know, how we can prevent dementia in all of us, how we can get rid of mommy brain, prevent senior moments. Uh, my latest book that just came out this month. Uh, uh, is really talking about how we can uh, re resist stress, anxiety, insomnia, uh, heal your, uh, your drained brain. So, you know, it, it's incredible because I believe that there are all of these natural strategies. And in fact, uh, you know, my brother's a great example because, you know, there's, we all have, whether we're a stroke survivor or whether we're just, you know, walking around this planet with an aging brain like uh, you and like me, um, we all have the power to use neurogenesis, everything we're doing, learning something at the best you expo, reading a book, we are actually creating new brain cells when we exercise, you know, uh, aerobic exercise that creates new brain cells in, in the hippocampus. Uh, when we resist stress, when we learn how to effectively manage stress. We are preventing uh, our prefrontal cortex from shrinking uh, because we know that people who uh, don't know how to manage stress and go through too much stress are actually shrinking that part of the brain. And of course, meditation uh, can grow this part of the brain, right? So I, I, I got really obsessed with researching this and, and just becoming an expert and, and writing about this so I can help people to live um, healthier lives uh, and do it in a really natural way by what they're doing each and every day. So when you talk about doing it in a natural way, 
what are you actually referring to? What, what kind of techniques and, and how, I mean, for example, anxiety, which, you know, is, is obviously kind of like, uh, yeah, very current that a lot of people suffer with. Yeah, so in this uh, current book, uh, I would say about a third of it is dedicated to how we eat. So for example, I talk, um, Heal Your Drain Brain has a 14 day program where I talk about um, omega-3 superfoods. Um, so the, these omega-3 superfoods, um, uh, you know, I call the omega-3 EPA your stress-less omega-3 uh, because in, in research we know that uh, consuming uh, a high EPA omega-3 formula has been shown to reduce anxiety by about 20%. Um, high levels of DHA, the other, the other usable form of omega-3, has been shown to improve quality of sleep. Uh, we know that probiotics and prebiotics, which are essentially food for the, the probiotics that you eat, have been shown to significantly reduce anxiety when consumed every day. Uh, and I also have uh, some incredible recipes in my book so people can ferment their own foods. Uh, so if you don't like kefir or yogurt or you don't do dairy, uh, you can ferment your own vegetables so that you can get some of those in your gut because those probiotics make GABA, serotonin, uh, those stress relieving chemicals, those neurotransmitters, those hormones. Um, and then uh, the other thing in my book uh, is all of these clinically effective uh, strategies. You know, I teach people self-hypnosis. I know that's something that's really big in the UK. Um, progressive muscle relaxation, autogenic training, mindfulness meditation, all of these natural tools that basically shift the brain, right? Because there's this seesaw that we're always either tipped towards one side or the other, right? It's either fight or flight uh, or rest and digest. And balance our brains. So if, if we're stressed out and we have a, a work deadline, uh, we can use one of these tools to sort of write the balance in our brains. And it doesn't require any medication uh, to do so. We can learn these tools and we can uh, learn how to uh, effectively shift that balance in a natural way. And, you know, it's really important to do so because we know uh, just a, a few statistics um, you know, first of all, people in the modern world are more stressed out than ever before. And, and we know that when left untreated, um, people with what I call drained brains, uh, brains that are stressed out, fatigued, uh, anxious, uh, four times more likely to go on and develop the number one cause of preventable death, which is high blood pressure. Um, also, uh, the worst, uh, one of the subtypes of a drained brain, which I call skyrocket uh, drain, which is, you know, when you feel that, that dread, that panic, uh, more likely to have a heart attack or a stroke, right? When those three uh, stress hormones, adrenaline, norepinephrine, and cortisol just sort of take off like a rocket, you're going to experience a panic attack. Uh, we know, especially in postmenopausal women, that's very dangerous. Uh, so we, we do know that this is not just about feeling good, but it's about taking good care of your health. And, and we know that there are clinically effective and natural integrative approaches uh, so that you don't have to become reliant on Xanax uh, or Klonopin. Those are not the only clinically effective ways. So I, I just want people to know, um, you know, I, I'm sort of shouting it from the rooftops, right? That there are clinically effective natural uh, alternatives that I want people to know about and to be educated about as well. Yeah, and, and, and especially kind of, um, it, it's scary really, isn't it? I mean, I know it's, it's, it's a global, epidemic uh, as far as you know how fast or quickly people decide to go on to medication instead of looking for these alternatives and obviously it's a multi-billion dollar industry uh, i mean i'm just gobsmacked when you know I'm, I'm here in when i'm here in the u.s and you and you watch these commercials of of them offering you know all sorts of drugs for all sorts of things i mean they spend half the time telling you about all the side effects which i tell you what scares me right um, right it's quite, it's quite surprising how people don't really look into these alternatives before they go into that isn't it it, it surprises me every day and, and you know you said it you know you, it's the billion dollar multi-billion dollar industry and it's and it's the money and you know a lot of consumers a lot of patients don't know um you know and they frankly they they're just confused and, and they don't have the resources. They don't have hours to research which, which natural strategies work and which ones are just hype. Um, so maybe you do go see um, an old school, uh, you know, 
Uh, you just go see some some doctor who gives you some prescription because all they have are, are 10 minutes for you. And, you know, and, and, and by the way, if all you have is, is 10 minutes and you're really busy, uh, you know, I, I understand why that could be the, the strategy that's recommended. Uh, be educated. Um, and, and, you know, that's why I was called to write this book because, you know, I also, you know, one of the other scary stats that I open the book with is we've seen a very scary uh, rise in overdose deaths. Um, and some of the population, it's, it's, we're not seeing it in, you know, young men. We're seeing it in middle-aged women. Over, you know, in, in the ER, we're seeing uh, middle-aged women overdosing uh, um, uh, on these uh, anti-anxiety medications. So I think, you know, they used to call them mother's little helper, right? And I think there's a paradigm shift. I think we're seeing that the old school medications, they're not as harmless as, as we once thought they were. Um, so I think they're, I think we're finally at this point, especially in, in this country, in America, uh, I think America tends to be a little bit more, um, you know, Europe, uh, they do use a lot more natural strategies, which is fantastic. Uh, they use melatonin more than they use Ambien compared to the U.S. Um, Europe uh, actually has some fantastic laws that we don't have in the U.S. where, you know, for example, St. John's wort can be part uh, of a prescription uh, in the U.S., that's that's not the case. So we tend to go straight for the um, the pencil. Um, but you know, it's also really wonderful. You know, I call I call um, I call kefir. You know, probiotics are the new Paxil. Because you know, in these new recent studies, just consuming a probiotic every day significantly reduces uh, anxiety, and they they verified that in that evidence. So it's isn't it so wonderful that now in in, in 2018 um, that this new research really does show that there are alternatives that do work. <coughs> yes, excuse me. And, and, and absolutely. And as you said, I, I think kind of it's about education. It's about learning. And I think, uh, you know, kind of in, in, a, in a world now where we've got access to more information than ever, you know, I, I think we, we, we tend to maybe read less of things that are really important. And I was at a talk with Eric Edwards and, and he was talking about nutrition and food and obviously something that you, were, that you were talking about. A lot of people don't actually understand what food is, is it? I mean, you know, they, because w when you start looking at what they put in food, you know, it actually isn't food. I mean, the amount of sugar it has, the amount of salt it has. And, and obviously, you know, some people don't even know what fresh vegetables are. So, you know, that obviously has to have an impact in, in, your, in, in your life and, and how you feel. So, you know, I think the nutrition part is, is obviously an aspect that, that you'll be discussing and so important. As well. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it shrinks your brain. And I think that's scary for people to, to understand. Uh, you know, sugar uh, shrinks uh, a part of your brain that helps you in, uh, in the face of sugar. And, um, and um, oh, sorry, is that my echo? My echo. Oh, my volume. Oh. Um, and uh, the other thing that people need to understand is that uh, you, you know, this processed food, it, it shifts a, another sort of teeter-totter balance. Uh, these, the Western diet, uh, when we eat a lot of um, factory farmed processed meats, and also the other thing that's in almost all processed foods is soybean oil. So we have a factory farmed chicken, uh, factory farmed dairy, uh, factory farmed um, some processed food with bread that uses soybean oil. So then you have uh, very, very high levels of omega-6s, very, very low levels of omega-3s. That puts the brain in a state of chronic inflammation. Uh, inflammation, uh, uh, depression, depression, anxiety, it's correlated with all of these neurological conditions. And now we're seeing just in the past two years, uh, we're seeing studies that not only does the, you know, the diet that I recommend at all, which is a modified Mediterranean diet, which is the opposite, a high omega-3 diet. Um, so we know that uh, if you do eat meat, you know, I of course recommend uh, clean seafood, the best source of omega-3s. If you're vegan, uh, the uh, vegan animal-based, uh, sorry, the plant-based sources of omega-3s, walnuts, flaxseed, um, algae-based uh, DHA supplements, um, and then also if you do eat animal products, uh, looking for the organic pastured um, grass fed varieties, much higher levels of omega threes compared to the conventionally raised factory farm versions, then you're shifting to a higher omega three 
lower omega-6, which shifts the brain from a state of inflammation to an anti-inflammatory state. And these studies have shown that it's not just preventing anxiety and depression, but in a, in a human study that was published a year ago, they found that this type of diet actually treats people with major depressive disorder. So if this kind of diet can treat people who have a major mood disorder, disorder, major depression, major this isn't depression. mild depression, this is major depression. Imagine what it can do for most of us, right? Uh, you know, major depression, it's, that's a pretty severe uh, mood disorder. Um, so I, I think it just goes to show just how powerful this diet and what we eat does to our brain and to our mood. Yeah, listen, it's, um, it's sometimes, it, it is really amazing to me that, you know, when it comes down to ourselves, we tend to not really read and understand. I, I, I share this, but I've shared it quite a few times that Dr. Silvio, 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 Dr. Silvio
I, I think it makes people feel really in control. And when we have more control as human beings, um, you know, that makes us feel less anxious uh, uh, right there, which is pretty incredible. It's very powerful. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, I, I'm aware of the power of hypnosis for many, many years and, and people tend to misunderstand kind of the power of the unconscious, you know, and, and we do so many things unconsciously. Luckily, we breathe, you know, sometimes when we're just literally uh, driving somewhere and all of a sudden we don't know how we got there. We're in an unconscious state. So, you know, it's extremely powerful. And, and yeah, I, I really recommend that. But look, I mean, kind of the, 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 my the, the idea of putting the, these events together is, is to is to combine a variety of, of amazing individuals that have such expertise in so many different subjects that, you know, it's just simply a gathering of those that are seeking and interested in looking, you know, for, for new ideas. So we're, we're delighted to have you there. And, and, um, and, and for those obviously that, that don't know the format, well, pretty much that's what it is. It's, it's nine or 10 breakout rooms and I'm going to share the screen in a minute, but it's nine, 10 breakout rooms. All the rooms are themed differently, uh, passion to profit, but, uh, health and well-being, uh, best for business, empowering women. Uh, we've got all sorts of breakout rooms, so there's all sorts of experts discussing all sorts of things. We've got the inspiration zone where we're going to be doing uh, all sorts of kind of really cool stuff. Uh, uh, we cure phobias live, you know, we bring snakes and spiders and, um, and we cure phobias like that in 10, 15 minutes using cool. hypnosis as well. And, um, and then apart from that, we teach people how to dance salsa, uh, so it's just kind of like a, a great, a great opportunity for learn. And, and my experience is, is that I don't know what it is, but there's nothing you can compare it with it that actually than a live event, isn't it? Face to face, listening and seeing speakers. It's, for me, it's, it's, it's always a unique experience. Now you can see somebody on a talk show, you can read their book, but uh, yeah, the face to face, uh, I, 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 on my side, you know, I love uh, seeing people seeing people who read my books it's it's transformative for me and and you know when i see a speaker it's it's a totally different experience yeah it's you know we're we're human beings you know we, we like to connect uh it's, it's lovely to see you here bernardo but i can't wait to see you in person again you know yeah no so, so like, likewise here so thank you so with your permission and the permission of everyone watching i'm going to literally just share the screen very quickly and uh and i'm just gonna literally just take us to the page quite quickly uh leave there so this is Dr. Mike Dow's page. Uh, for those of you that are looking, uh, looking for him and you want to find out more from the best you, uh, that's where you can find drmikedow.com. And, and there basically that's his last book, uh, Drain's Brain, Heal Your Drain Brain, and, and obviously his newsletter and all the necessary information. Obviously, you know, he's, he's been doing some, some podcasts and he's been a professional in the industry for a long, long time. That's why we're delighted to have him there. So any more information, please just go there. And for those that are interested in finding out a little bit more about the expo, well, that's it. You go to thebestuexpo.com. If you haven't heard about the Best You Expo, well, listen, it's all over the place. But we just completed that one in London. But if you go to thebestuexpo.com and then you click onto the one in Long Beach, that's the 24th and 25th of March. Uh, we have some promotional tickets that we're offering, either both us and Dr. Mike. We're offering some free tickets, but they're only 10 uh, they're 15 and $20 for one or two days. That's a general admission. That's it. That gives you access to all the main stage. Um, you've got the schedule there. You can see all the amazing businesses we've got. We've got a fantastic lineup of main stage speakers. Uh, we have um, uh, Dave Asprey. We've got, um, we've got Dean Graziosi, Mastin Kip. We have an amazing opportunity of, of speakers that are going to be there. And Dr. Mike... Uh, is here. He's going to be speaking on the 24th of March at 4 p.m. And it's a free talk. You get basically access to his room uh, at, at that time by having just simply a general admission. And as I said, uh, there's, there's on the floor plan, there's plenty of things that we're covering. So um, we've got 10 breakout rooms. We have all sorts of um, all sorts of activities, all sorts of speakers covering many, many different aspects. But um, here it is, it's opening. Yeah. Sorry, the HR experience. Um, there you go. That's all the speakers that are speaking. Um, and uh, there's so many more that are literally just signing up on a daily basis. We are gonna have around 160, 180 speakers throughout the two days, uh, which, is, which is amazing. We're, we're delighted, it's our first experience in the US, but we've had an amazing response. We've got a fantastic, uh, 
We've got all sorts of great activities prepared. So Dr. Mike, is there anything else you would like to share with us before we... Um... Just I can't wait to uh, meet all of you in Long Beach and I hope you come out. It's going to be an incredible event. That's well, it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for your time and uh, see you soon. I'll see you soon, Bernardo. Thank you so much. Bye.